Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will finally be showing you guys how I usually apply my short arm cast. And since I do not have a cast removal saw yet, what I will be using is just a soft material. And what that is, it's just a material that you can just easily unwrap at home or unroll at home. My patient for today will be my son since I do not have anyone else to volunteer for me. So for now, we are going to be using my son. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. This is my first video of 2022, so I'm super excited. And I honestly, I don't know if I will miss things. If you have any suggestions or any comments, leave them down in the comment box below. Thanks again for watching and let me grab the materials that I will use for this cast. So first thing I will need is two web rolls, some stockinette, soft cast material. I'm going to be using two inch, some gloves, and some water so we can activate our fiberglass rolls. And that is our material. All right, guys, so I will be showing you guys how I usually apply my cast. For me, I feel like I'm always long on my stockinette, which is totally fine because if you are longer, you can always cut it back. But if you are shorter, you can never like get more of the stockinette. So you always want to make sure you're at least long enough. So for him, I'm going to make sure I have enough stockinette st starting from his fingertips all the way down to the end of his form. I always like to make a little snip. So just like that. Just a little bit. You don't want to go too much, just a little bit. We're going to apply this on his arm. And your thumb will go right through that hole. Bring your arm up. Bring your arm back down. There you go. We're just going to be doing a neutral position cast. So just a short arm cast in neutral. And then we're going to use this stockinette. We're going to cut on the side just all the way towards the middle. So just half of the stockinette. So half cut and then half left alone. We're gonna put this on his thumb. This is going to be a little bit extra padding for his thumb when we fold the stockinette back. Your patient will always be moving around. So you wanna make sure you always bring his or her arm back in neutral position you want it in. We're gonna grab our stockinette. I always like to rip the end of the piece. I don't know why, it's just to have it. I always like to start at the wrist. And then from the wrist, I go around once and then I go back up. Bring your fingers up. And then I like to tear just a little bit. Bring it right around the thumb here. Bring your arm this way. Remember, you always wanna make sure you tell the patient to keep his arm in neutral position. And it's always our responsibility to make sure that their arm is the way we want it to because we are the One's responsible, we are the techs, and the patient doesn't really know what's going on. I like to go around twice just so we have enough padding. Make sure it's under the knuckle heads here, and then I like to bring it down just like that. And you're going to want to tear just a little bit. Bring it all the way down now. You want to go 50-50 on your padding. You don't want too much or too less. If you do too much, it's going to be a thick cast. At the end of his forearm here, I like to go around twice with my web roll padding so we have enough padding down here. That way when the patient bends his elbow, the cast material doesn't pinch him. When we're done there going twice, we're gonna go back up. Just like that. And tear there. If you feel his bony prominences right here on his ulnar styloid, you wanna make sure you add another piece of cotton just so when you cut it, you don't burn the patient's bony prominences. You have enough padding to protect the patient. And what I always like to do with my cast is make sure I add a trim at the end of the cast. So one down here, just like that. And if, if you notice, this is what my patients do at the hospital all the time. With him, I'm going to tell him to stay still because he is my kid so I can tell him what to do. So please stay still. I like to add another trim up here by the knuckleheads. Tear that, bring it just like that. And then I like to add another trim. Fold the cotton right under the thumb there. And you can always tear what you will not need. We have that done. So now I'm going to put on my gloves and Grab my fiberglass. 
Do you have any questions so far? Um, I think this is starting to be good. Okay, so keep your fingers up for me. We're gonna open our first package of soft roll. I'm gonna dip it into my water for about five seconds. Squeeze all the excess water. Same as the web roll, I always like to start at the wrist. Catch my end there and then bring it up. We're going to use my scissors here and we're going to cut a line. We're going to fold our ends because if you leave the ends out, it might start to bother the patient. We're going to go around twice there. Just like that. Now for our ends here, we're going to go around and catch it with our fiberglass roll, just like so. And then we're going to bring it all the way down. Remember to do 50-50 at all times. We're going to leave about half an inch of web roll there so we have enough padding and it doesn't pinch the patient. We're going to end our roll right there. Use my scissors and cut it. Put that back in the water. We're not going to use it anymore. Grab a little bit more water and then we're going to make sure that we mold the cast in the correct position we want it. Depending on the fracture, providers will tell you how to mold the cast. But for a neutral cast, you want to make sure you always do a nice plumber's crease mold and a good ulnar flat border. Now that my material is still a little bit sticky, I'm going to fold back my stockinette. See how the patient has enough room around the thumb here. If the patient is a person that likes to play video games, they will be happy with you. And then you can either fold back the stockinette or you can always make a hole here if you have enough stockinette. For now, I'm just going to fold it back. We're going to fold this stockinette back just like so. We have a lot of stockinette left, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it with our scissors and throw it out. Our second roll is pretty much beautification roll or a roll to make your cast look beautiful. Since it is a soft roll, what you always want to remember with soft rolls is that you always want to underlap the last roll, and this is only for soft roll material. And the reason for that is that if you have another tech taking off your cast, that tech does not want to be looking for the other end of the roll, especially if it's a little kid or a little patient that is whining, fussy, and does not know you. They will not be happy with you touching them or taking off their cast. So always underlap the last roll and then make sure you catch your end. We're gonna work ourselves up. We're gonna cut, fold our end. Just like that, do another cut. You wanna make sure you grab your ends. and roll all the way down until you catch your other stockinette down here. You wanna cut. Let's make sure it looks good. How does it feel? It feels good. Feels good, does it feel warm? Yeah. Does it feel uncomfortable? Not really. Not really. It's just when you're like molding it, it yeah. it's just you're hurting my arm. I think that's what the kids hate the most. I think so. And this is our short arm cast. So this is what the cast looks like close up. Looks very nice and clean. He has enough padding down here. If he bends his arm, it doesn't pinch him. Can you make an O sign? Can you touch all your fingers? Perfect. And then there is enough padding here. 
and this is the way I apply a short arm cast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I know I did forget a lot of details, but remember, this is my first casting video. If you have any questions on the video that I did today, please leave it down in the comment box below. If you have any suggestions or comments you just want to leave down, leave it down below. I always feel happy reading your guys' comments. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.